Federal Liberals have been without a permanent leader since Michael Ignatieff's resignation in May of 2011. With less than three months until a new leader is chosen, hopefuls are hot on the campaign trail. Today, one of the most familiar faces in the race was in Prince George, wooing Liberal members and supporters. The values we share are similar, if not the same, from coast to coast to coast. Justin Trudeau believes he can bring the Liberal Party back to its past prominence. He's one of nine running for the leadership and seen by many as the clear front runner. The biggest challenge that Justin Trudeau faces is not to win this leadership race, which seems imminent, but to look to the bigger picture of restoring the vitality of his political party that's in third place presently in the House of Commons. Speaking today in front of a packed crowd of more than 200 UNBC students and staff, the MP for the Quebec riding of Papineau spoke of reaching out across Canada and finding common values. Uh, this leadership is all about connecting with Canadians in every riding across the country um, is a good start for rebuilding a political party that is not focused on itself but is focused on Canadians. Excited students snap pictures of the MP and hung on to his every word. While his charisma draws attention, party leaders must have more than basic appeal. Justin Trudeau is known as a charismatic and dynamic uh, politician the likes of which many Canadians aren't even used to. And he's even had to fight that and to show that he's also got uh, some thinking upstairs and a bit of a cerebral mind. And as well to show that he's his own person. That's even a challenge uh, in politics to show that. Trudeau has taken a firm stance on a major issue in our region. The Northern Gateway Pipeline uh, is not a good idea. The uh, Putting it through the uh, incredibly vulnerable, incredibly beautiful Great Bear Rainforest, uh, the lack of partnership and consultation uh, with the First Nations peoples. He even took jabs at local area MPs. Uh, the Conservative MPs here are very much uh, spokespeople for the Prime Minister in their riding rather than being representatives for the people of their riding. As an MP that's been elected seven times in the last 20 years, if I was anything but someone who spoke for the, for the people of the riding, then I probably wouldn't have been around this long. The Liberal Party leader will be chosen on April 14th. If Trudeau wins, he'll have his party building work cut out for him with just 34 seats in the House of Commons.